quick, I think. You've always been a believer in Jimmy McMillan from the days of you and he played in that L.A. championship team, 72. Well, the thing about him, he takes the, he really only takes a good shot. George, again, a shot for a half an hour, 45 minutes. At least. That lock is 12, and Collins is short, but there's Bibby. Off to McGinnis. McGinnis oh! muscles in and lays one up. There's so many guys that can do it to you. You know, Bob Dandridge and Kevin Greedy in the first half. Melvin Hayes here already. Where'd you play, Brent? Oh, let's see. I, I can't remember. It's been so long ago. <laughs> I, I, up there, Montana. McGinnis. Oh, yeah. McGinnis. What a horse he is on the board. Well, George McGinnis is all that Denver has ever needed in the sense that they have a big, strong guy who can take it through the hole just like that. Boy, he went around Mickey Johnson like stage of the game at the 726 mark of the second period. At halftime, have an interview with Kevin Lockery of the New Jersey Nets. As McGinnis. Oh, and he missed it. Rebound by Boosie, though. Boo back outside of McGinnis. He will fake the three. Swing down the lane. Underhand it up and miss it. Rebound. But I think McGinnis will get credit for the basket. And he will. On a goal, Timmy call on. You're going to have an awful lot of alleys to work from. And that's what's happening right there. Of course, Louie can hit him inside. Here is Billy Knight shooting over Ted McLean and getting it. 100 to 93 is the score. McGinnis going down the lane tonight on the baseline. And he's playing now. The Sixers bring the ball in. Collins goes to McGinnis. He's going to put the move on McAdoo. He's going to pick her up and hand off to Steve Nick Lays it in off glass. McGinnis gave it up to Jones. He comes back with a jump hook. Down came Wilkerson working baseline. Loose ball run down by the Nuggets. It's McGinnis again. There's that move. Dishing off this time. And Wilkerson was ready. Working on a free side, goes inside and gets it. People to raise the basket, the way he handles the ball, they ought to make it bigger. He's really got the hands. Clamps. McGinnis does it again. 19% the lowest I can remember Kentucky shooting this year. Knight to McGinnis, he gets away and put it in. McGinnis spread out for McGinnis, one-on-one -on -one against Roberts. McGinnis pointing to the offense as he starts to back up. He turns, fires it, and it rolls in there. Gilmore 13 in the game as Elmore to Joyce. Joyce looking for McGinnis. He'll get it a lot more. He pumps it up and it's rolling in there. 20 points to Joyce McGinnis. And Indiana plays. Really quick. Very, very quick guards for Kentucky. McGinnis, good play. Follow the offensive pattern. It appears to be a little bit of a slowdown game now. We've got to have some points. McGinnis turning on Issel. Shooting. Scoring! So far, I've seen no evidence that it's tightened up here today. Philadelphia has just attacked him differently than they did in five. McGinnis up over towards it that time. Averaging over 113 points a game. 51 seconds to go, as you see. That is the game clock winding down. George McGinnis puts it up, gets the roll. And pop out off of it. The Sixers, some of them switching, some of them not. It's 71 to 69. Philadelphia is in the lead as McGinnis goes way up over the defense, up over Sydney. Well, its defense has been tough the last few trips. McGinnis gets inside that time. What's up? Oh, no! 59 to 46. Smith dumps it off to McGinnis. At halftime, Kevin Lockery, guy who's had a few technical fouls called on him this year. New Jersey Nets colorful coach, and there is Bobby whipping it quickly back to Joyce McGinnis holding that ball in one big hand. He back turns, gives it to Hillman. 15 footer is there. Kenny Elmore takes it back front tonight. McGinnis in good low position in the corner to Joyce, right back to McGinnis. Seven seconds to the shot clock, driving Joyce, put it in easily. But it's going a little better offensively as McGinnis gets the ball in the corner. He comes around on the drive to Elmore out of the corner. He's got it. That's quite a matchup, too, with Bird against Billy Knight. Elmore, top of the circle. Guard. You fear the big man in the middle. You fear an Issel. But their guards have hurt us a great deal. Here's McGinnis back out to Lenny, about 17 feet out of game, And then come on into the NBA. And here is George McGinnis back in the game. And Buffalo has the seven-point lead. 105 to 98. Red Carter. McGinnis with a one-on-one play. And it's Bibby. 18-18 game with 4.09 to play in the first quarter. McGinnis out to Collins. And they bring it back out. They flatten the defense out and they get a good shot. 13-point lead now for Denver. Issel from the side. 
For a big guy, he can... Darnell Hillman comes out high. Setting a stack to one side of the lane are McGinnis and Daniels. They break off now. Here is McGinnis one-on-one -on -one against Govan. Line leapers and Mel Daniels and Hillman. That was Hillman clearing, and here comes Indiana. Hastings up by four, 13 to nine. McGinnis puts it up. That one shot down to McGinnis. Up court to Darnell Hillman, and Indiana does not have an overmatch to the run from the set play. McGinnis puts it up. Get things rolling. Darnell Hillman and now Freeman and George McGinnis takes the first pop. Looking for McGinnis. Cubs. George McGinnis for Indiana. He's moving. Roberts falls back. McGinnis hits it. He's seven. An excellent shooter. Shot 58%. McGinnis has got the three in the sky. Oh. Got nothing but net. Brown to Elmore. It's McGinnis. Double pumping and firing on Issel and scoring. Kentucky into the bonus of their fifth team foul sometime back. Five minutes to play. Here's McGinnis outside. Yes! Yeah. He goes now back to that eight-point difference. That's the biggest lead they had in the first half. McGinnis around Will Jones, shoves him away, fires and scores. Well, overplaying him on the left side. He won't normally go that direction. If he goes to his left, his uh, percentage comes down considerably. A three by the McGinnis. Home they give George the season throughout the playoffs. Here is Doug Collins on the outside as the Braves have a 5-2 to two lead. McGinnis starts to the basket. Here is a whistle and a foul call. And a key defensive force so far in this city. McGinnis with the first shot hit his first field goal. From time to time, you'll see flashes on your screen. Don't be concerned. A lot of photographers here with flash balls. McGinnis comes left baseline on Lucas, and he's hit his first field goal. McGinnis behind the Jones screen. He's three out of three off the top of this game. Teams at the top of their game. Philly must win to force a seventh game Wednesday night. McGinnis up outside. McGinnis has tied it. Seven minutes and Philadelphia trailing by ten. Looking for that surge now. McGinnis left perimeter. Makes out the magnificent Julius Irving. Goes off now to Joe Bryant. Walton rejects another one. Outside, McGinnis hits a field goal. They're right there outside. McGinnis with control of the defensive glass, and the doctor puts it down. Collins back to McGinnis and screens for him. Washington playing Cleveland will be checking in with Don Crickey. Following all of the action on CBS this afternoon, McGinnis at the free throw line. Two quick fields. McGinnis one hands it. Five field able to get to the offensive board. Let's see if he can alter that a little bit. We saw a great backdoor play with Julius. McGinnis. Gets the ball out to Bibby, and the 76ers come down on a controlled offense to set it up. Herman Washington goes for the steal. That gives George McGinnis. <laughs> to do something out there. He's got to tread some wood. Nuggets looks flustered. McGinnis. It's pretty good zone defense, the Bullets are playing. Wilkerson, Smith, McGinnis, Tim Hughes, and Tom Boswell. That's the five in the game now for Denver. Two minutes to go, first period. McGinnis. And it's saved by Bobby Wilkerson. McGinnis, George McGinnis, he loves that shot. McGinnis now with 12 points. 20 to 17. Overflow crowd here at the Fairgrounds Coliseum. McGinnis with the one hand. The setup. He gets the ball one on one against Roberts. McGinnis on a drive. He stops. He fires and got it. Boston pressing the basketball. The Celtics are playing for their lives. Every game from down until the end of the regular season is a playoff game for them. They're going to need all of them. They can get it. Elgin opened up a 10 point advantage at the outset of the second period. Boston has rallied back, and the Celtics now have the lead for a second. Now to Hillman. Hillman waiting for somebody to break by. Back to McGinnis. Kentucky leads by one. Here goes George. Underneath, Hillman put it in. Good outside shooting from both teams early in the game. As McGinnis takes a look inside, goes out to Henry Bibby. And the seven. Rebound. If somebody's all alone, it's McGinnis. and driving one-on-one -on -one against Knight. Across, stolen, another bad pass. And McGinnis coming straight down the middle. Big George making his move, lays it good. 
He looked real good yep, on that. It doesn't go. Rebound by McGinnis, and Indiana comes out of there. It's Keller straight down the middle on the break to McGinnis. He drives, stops, shoots, and he's got it. Playing all by his lonesome. Rebound, Elmore. Lenny's got at least three here in the second half early. McGinnis has got the three in the sky again, and it's good again. Walton and McGinnis came out and stole it. McGinnis defended him. Walton coming back, and George laid it in. First half. Looking basket. Miss on the drive, so the frustration continues. Loose ball, McGinnis back. Comes up and hits it. George McGinnis with his most effective. Off they come. Here's Bibby. It's three on one. McGinnis comes to the basket strongly with his best offensive showing. Let's give so much credit to Philly. They just will not fold. A tremendous credit to this team. Off they come. Chance to make it four. McGinnis goes in, and he drew the foul from Gross. Kind of a strange game. Uh, each club turning it on at different times. Did you see McGinnis making a steal? Boy, both teams are sloppy right now, aren't they? Here's Scott Smith. Smith dishes, and McGinnis goes. Nice play by Kim Hughes. They called him the Spider-Man. That was an excellent block by Hughes. Gilmore thought he had a lot more time to put the top on that one. McGinnis shows him how much time you need. George McGinnis. Kind of out of their offense right now. Well, they seem to be passing up the open man. That time Scott May was open. He elected to give it to Holland. Look at that move by McGinnis, would you? To Wilkerson. I tell you what, McGinnis. Cleared by Keller at 5-10 to McGinnis. One man to beat, and you go, man. Over to Bootsy. Getting back on the move, and here's McLean losing the ball. Lucy coming the other way. A three on one. Gilmore the one, and Knight put it in. To Roberts. He shoots again. It won't go. Rebound by McGinnis. McGinnis leading the break, and they're going wild in Indianapolis now. Here he goes off tonight. He laid it up. Good. Yes, Kentucky's out in front by five at 40 and 35. Knight. Corner. Yeah, gets his own rebound. Catching, rejecting twice. Lead pass to McGinnis. Off to Lloyd, three, off the glass, and this is McGinnis off with the rebound, gives it to Gibby, it's three on two, here's McGinnis back now to Jones! George McGinnis wants to take it all the way, gets his rebound back, and puts it in. McGinnis rebound, and he follows it up minute of the third quarter. Kentucky on top. Lewis driving. Gilmore goes down. McGinnis right in there to steal that ball. Indiana by three is Hillman off the side. His shot won't go. McGinnis on that board. He takes it. He got it. This is to Billy Keller cutting by. On the cut series, he stops. He shoots. Missed it. Rebound McGinnis. He puts it back up there. Got it. Picked up by Keller. Billy Knight runs to the corner, shoots from there, missed it. Rebound picked off McGinnis, back up and good. Ability to handle the ball, takes it full speed the other way. McGinnis heads back in. Basket goes, it's 18 to 15. And now Utah cuts Indiana's lead, which was 7, 20, 30 seconds ago, down to 3. Roger Brown to George McGinnis. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Here is George McGinnis. Good. That was a lucky basket. 70-58. Freeman drives in, gives it off to McGinnis. Oh, now they sag completely off of Hillman. Freeman drives in under. Fred Carter with it. It is a 7-2 game Buffalo right here at the outset. Loops down low and George McGinnis. Goes up, takes the alley. Seals him at the right sideline. Inside to McGinnis. George McGinnis has scored. 